Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us here in Las Vegas at the ACT Expo. Uh, today, we want to thank you for joining Lion and making yet another historic announcement in the advancement in clean, heavy-duty transportation. My name is Nate Baggio. I'm the Senior Vice President of Commercial Development here at Lion Electric. This event marks a momentous occasion for us and really for all of us as we collectively improve transportation for the well-being of our world, the way we do business, and for future generations. Today we unveil something truly groundbreaking, our Lion 8 tractor. We will hear from Lion Electric President Nick Brunet. He'll share insights on the Lion 8 tractor and what it means to your business. Uh, we will take a tour of this amazing vehicle showcasing the specific features and capabilities of this all-electric truck led by our Vice President of Sales, Christina Amy, and also our Director of Marketing, Scott Offerman. But first, we will begin with the man that was coming to this very conference when EV was an afterthought, when it was in the minority, belief in zero emission wasn't there, and look what it's turned into today. I'm honored to introduce the leader, visionary, founder, and CEO of Lion Electric, Mark Bedard. Thank you, thank you very much, Nate. Good morning, everyone. Very excited to unveil an exceptional milestone in the journey of Lion Electric, the Lionate tractor truck. Today we're not just unveiling a new commercial truck, we're introducing a game changer in freight transportation. The Lionate tractor truck clearly sets a new standard in the EV truck market. We're combining performance, quality, efficiency, environmental sustainability as well, obviously. And like all of our vehicles, uh, it, it is purpose built for electric and to meet and exceed, we all hope, the demands of the operators. Without further ado, I'm sure you all want to see what's underneath. It's now time to proceed with the unveiling of our Lion A tractor truck. Maybe we can all count together to three. One, two, three, go! Thanks, Rob. Well, thank you so much. This, is, uh, this truck is awesome. And uh, it's without a doubt a turning point in Lions history. Uh, we became the leader in electric school buses as many of you know, and we are now aiming to also becoming a leader in the EV commercial truck market as well. Designed from the ground up for optimal performance and operational efficiency, the Lion 8 tractor is the industry front runner with a GCWR of 127,000 pounds, the highest in the EV truck market. But this isn't just a truck, it's a powerhouse on wheels uh, as well with a battery capacity of up to 630 kilowatt hour, the Lion A tractor has a range of up to 275 miles on a single charge. This is indeed the first of our vehicles that benefits from our state-of-the-art Lion's heavy-duty battery packs that could be charged to 80% within 1.5 hours. The Lion A tractor truck will be available this summer and uh, it is, in fact, the result of 16 years of passion in developing all electric vehicles. Many of you know that. We have over 2,000 vehicles on the road right now, over 25 million miles driven. Lion stands at the forefront of the industry, and we have a solid presence in the EV market space. The unveiling of the Lion A tractor here, as uh, Nate was saying, underscores Lion commitment to zero emission transportation with an extensive lineup of products, class five, class X, and now the class A tractor. I wanna thank all of our teams uh, that, uh, well, all passionate people and that all played an essential role in developing this uh, amazing truck. And also I see a lot of customers as well. I wanna thank you for the trust you're putting into Lion. With that, 
Uh, I would like to pass the floor to Nick, and thank you very much for being here this morning. Thank you, Mark, and good morning, everyone. I'm Nick Brunet. I'm the president of Lion Electric, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be here with you at the unveiling of the Lion 8 tractor. Um, I'd like to put my commercial hat on for a minute and talk to you about the feedback that we've gotten from customers on this uh, Lion 8 tractor platform. We've had, over the past few months, the pleasure of hosting a number of fleet operators at our test track so that they can come and experience firsthand the Lion 8 tractor by driving it, of course. Um, and the feedback has been resoundingly positive. Uh, many drivers commented on the cabin's comfort, uh, the superior visibility from the cab forward design. Of course, everyone appreciated the sheer torque of the vehicle, but many also noted the smoothness of its operation despite hauling a full payload on the test track. Of course, you all know that we sell trucks at Lion, but what we truly provide is a full turnkey experience for fleet electrification. Our team of experts will work with our clients to assist in all aspects of electrification, including everything that relates to charging infrastructure, grants and subsidies, vehicle financing, training for your drivers and your mechanics, and of course, aftermarket support. It's important to note that the Lion 8 tractor truck qualifies for a number of very attractive subsidy programs, including the EPA's Clean, Clean Ports program in the United States, as well as the Canadian IMZEV program in Canada. So please call us and let's discuss how we could help you tap into this funding and rapidly deploy Lion 8 tractors into your fleet so that you could quickly benefit from a favorable total cost of ownership. Now, with that said, I will pass it over to Christina Ami, VP of Truck Sales, and Scott Offerman, Director of Marketing, who will provide more technical details on the platform. Thanks, Nick. Ooh, excuse me. So we're going to start up here at the, uh, at the front of the cab, and you'll notice right away we have this uh, cab forward design. And so when you're in the vehicle, you'll get a tremendous amount of visibility. And as Nick stated before, that was something that was really important to our drivers and, and from a safety perspective, also important to fleet owners. Second thing I'll point out is in the front, we have LED headlamps. We also have full uh, safety features, including uh, active collision mitigation system, lane departure warning, blind spot detection, which you'll see on the other side, and we also have uh, adaptive cruise control, all super important safety features. Next, I'll point out to you the four-point air ride cab and air seat, which gives a tremendous amount of comfort. And then lastly, we have an 18,000 pound front axle and then the uh, aerodynamic roof. So with that, I will turn it over to the very handsome Scott Offerman. Take Thank me. you, Christina. Um, she tends to do that to me all the time, that whole handsome thing. I don't believe it. I don't buy into it for one second. Um, I want to talk a little bit deeper in depth on the actual capabilities of the truck. When we started talking about what we can develop, what we can design, and what we can come up with, uh, we really want to create an impact. Obviously, at 127,000 pounds for a GCWR, that makes a statement already. But we want to continue that statement as we move through. The 18,000 pound axle is no joke. We obviously have a lot of capacity, a lot of payload we have to move. So we want to make sure that every other part of the truck could match the payload and the capabilities that we had uh, with the Lion 8 tractor. <clears throat> One of those, which I really like to talk about, these are my cheat sheet. So if you're wondering where I'm going to go, it's going to go here, here. I'm joking. I'm not just going to cover all of them. But our proprietary, proprietary Lion HD batteries. It's not just the batteries itself, it's literally a system. When we started designing our HD batteries, we had to think about thermal management, the battery management, and how it's all gonna work together to keep those batteries at the optimum temperature. They kick out 525 kilowatt hours or 630 kilowatt hours. We talked about a range of 275 miles. That is with our 630 kilowatt hour battery pack. It works together to make sure that we get the longevity, the reliability, and we get the range that we're looking for out of our system. The other one is charging. With our 630 kilowatt hours, we can charge up to 
290 kilowatts. So with a 750 volt system, we can charge it about an hour and a half, up to 80% state of charge. Really for us and really puts the power to the ground when we move to the back to talk about the drive system. It's a tandem drive system, a true six by four configuration. And we tapped Meritor on the shoulder to say, hey, we need some axles. Those axles are the 14X, the E axles. They're rated at 40,000 pounds and they have a differential lock that's operated by the driver. When we talk about numbers, a lot of you want numbers. How about power? Anybody interested in power? I am. Our max power, 500 kilowatts. Continuous, 400 kilowatts. We put a lot of power down to the ground. We have to mitigate that, manage that. Um, think of this number real quick. 33,000 pound-feet of torque. They put out over 33,000 pound-feet of torque at the wheels. Now, obviously, we can't do that. We'll just smoke the tires. Now we're talking about needing new tires and wheels. What we want to do is make sure that at 127,000 pounds that we had enough power to get all of this cargo up and moving, do it safely, reliably, with the comfort for the driver, the passenger, and do this continuously. And at 275 miles on a single charge, I think we hit the nail on the head. I'd like to now turn it back over to Nate Baggio, who will come up and do our closing statements and a Q&A. And if you have questions, please let us know. Thank you for coming and joining us here today and being part of the Lion family. Sorry. Thank you, everyone. You can see what a historic day this is today for the movement of freight from our ports to distribution centers carrying very heavy loads. I want to thank you for coming out today and uh, sharing this great moment and view a vehicle that will be available not as a prototype but for delivery this year.